Hello guys, this is your reading for the 8th through the 15th. And this reading is for my Geminis. When I, um, I was shuffling before I actually started the camera and um, the King of Swords just spun out on the table. So I feel like you guys, either you're dealing with someone who you feel like is um, your match or you guys are feeling quite strong and um, standing in your own power currently, okay? <clears throat> So let's go ahead and dive a little further into your reading and see exactly what kind of energy this person is bringing your way and um, possibly how you are responding to it, okay? Let's see, who is this person, okay? Who is this? Look at that magician right there. The magician is quite a powerful person. Okay, that could definitely be you, or it could be um, both of you. So I'm going to give this another shuffle. I feel like there's, there's a lot to discuss in your reading today. And oh my gosh, oh my goodness, yeah, okay. We've got that King of Pentacles and that Magician right there. Whew. Hmm. All right, what is that? What is that? Okay, so I got some cards that are turned over here. What is, what is this? You know, I'm just going to have to take a look at these because I just, I don't know how that happened, but let's talk. <clears throat> Queen of Cups here, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces Energy. Oh. King of Cups, again, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. I do feel like both of you have a point to prove. Both of you guys have a point to prove here. Um, I do feel like there is a confidence um, exuding from the both of you. Huh. But... You know, I feel like hmm, either this person has offered some sort of truce or some sort of like, you know, olive branch to you guys. And you're just kind of like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, the Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you guys are, I don't know about that, okay? I'm doing me right now. I got this. I got this all by myself. I got this all by myself. Temperance here. Quite balanced with your head and your heart. I feel like, um, well, they are, actually. I do feel like this person is wanting to like give to you but they don't want to come across as needy or as um like they are like groveling or begging to you guys i do feel like this person is um they're at a point if they weren't before that they are feeling really selfless very eager to smooth things over and I do feel that they're more compassionate they're more um, receptive but I do get to that maybe the roles have been reversed where you guys may have been more receptive and more giving and more loving now you're like eh. <laughs> I mean yeah like eh. King of Swords coming back out again. We have the High Priestess here. Um, if you guys do want to get back with this person, I don't think that you're giving that away and you're not giving it off. You're not showing it. Um, you're really showing like indifference, I feel. Okay. 
and you feel like this is what's best for you at this point maybe you felt like you just gave too much to this person when you were with them if you are still with them you really i mean you're with them but you're not is the thing okay um cancer scorpio pisces sagittarius is here and um it could definitely be an air sign like you guys gemini libra aquarius energy so yeah <clears throat> i feel like this person's ready to work things out with you and uh, you're kind of on the fence i feel mm, you could give or take them at this point i don't know what happened but i do feel that you know the roles have been reversed you guys probably are exhibiting more masculine energy more controlled energy and um, your person is exhibiting more receptive energy more feminine energy ready to give now what you know they probably had a hard time giving before and that is emotion okay I still don't really get that um, that you're done necessarily because I mean I mean hey you're coming here you know as a king and the queen of cups and not only that you're side by side but you have your backs turned you have your back turned this person's facing forward they're extending their cup it's like are you gonna take it what are you gonna do I'm here I'm showing you that I'm here you know but I think you're ready to walk this this path alone at this point Yeah, you're ready to walk this path alone. Four of Pentacles. Mm hmm. And you're sticking to it. You're sticking to it. I feel like you guys are comfortable um, where you are right now and not really uh, extending yourselves uh, to this person emotionally. I feel like you're drinking, you're going out, you're having a good time. Um, you're not really talking to this person, but I do get that, you know, there is, um, there's still something there. There's still a, a spiritual, emotional connection with this person for sure. But right now you're feeling like, you know, doing you is what's best for you at this point. So let's see what this person really wants with you guys. What does this person really want with Gemini? What do they really want with Gemini? Five of Pentacles. Oh, they want to be there for you and they want you to be there for them. They want to let you know they want to work it out with you regardless. But you guys can be there for each other through thick and thin. And they're here for you right now. Taurus energy. Seven of Swords here. Huh. Oh, wow. So. I feel like this person feels rejected by you. They they want you to stop thinking about um, yourselves and think about them too. Because they feel like you're only thinking about yourself and that you're hurting them and you know that you're hurting them. They feel like you know this, but you're only looking out for yourselves here. They want to be with you. It's the bottom line here. They want to be with you. But you guys are, I mean, you're engaging with other people here. You're engaging with other people. I don't know if you want to be um, held down. And keep in mind, this energy can go vice versa, guys, because this could be the other person over here doing this and you're extending yourselves and trying to work things out with this person. And you're feeling like, I mean, they're just kind of slapping you in your face. You know, while they go out and, and just have a good time and hang out with their friends and family. And, you know, you're left over here feeling rejected with this Five of Pentacles energy. And the Eight of Wands. Just going on. Having a good time communicating with other people. Um, just traveling and, you know saving money since you guys are not together because I'm getting that uh, whoever this is over here is is just having a grand time 
only being responsible for themselves and not having to make sure that somebody else is okay emotionally, physically, financially, and feeling like, okay, well, I can handle this shit by myself. As a matter of fact, I'm good by myself. I can go out when I want to. I can travel when I want to. I can buy what I want. You know, just that whole thing. So this whole situation can be reversed. So keep that in mind. Sagittarius energy here. Uh, Cancer, Aquarius as well. So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.